Hi, my name is Alex Fleischman, and welcome to the video overview of the Newton's First Law of Motion demonstration. Let's go over what's going to happen in this demonstration. Two lab carts of unequal mass, initially at rest, are separated due to the force exerted by a compressed spring. Next, the two lab carts are going to collide with textbooks placed at each end of the frictionless track. So let's go over some questions. What caused the carts to initially separate? Well, the force exerted on the carts due to the compressed spring caused the carts to separate. Next, what would occur if there was no spring in between the carts, no force acting on the carts? Well, that's simple. The two lab carts would remain at rest. When the carts made it down the track, what caused the lab carts to change direction? Well, the textbooks placed at each end of the frictionless track exerted a force on the carts due to the collision. Also, what would happen if there was no textbooks inhibiting the carts' motion? Well, the carts would continue on their original direction of motion. In addition, how does the difference in mass of the carts affect the direction of the motion of the carts both before and after the collision? Well, the mass of the carts have no effect on the direction of the cart's motion both before and after the collision with the textbooks. However, mass does affect the magnitude of the cart's speed both initially and after the collision. Another way to see this can be using free body diagrams. Please look at the free body diagrams for both before and after the collision. Let's now make a generalization. Let's come up with a statement describing the motion of the carts during their initial release from rest in an unblocked path and in a blocked path, taking into consideration the forces acting upon the carts. Well, we could state that a cart at rest remains at rest, and a cart in motion remains in motion unless acted on by a net external force. This is actually known as Newton's first law of motion.